Good evening, gentlemen and ladies. We're going to take a look at the latest from Voyager. Now, this is a distribution from France, I do believe. Now, for the 1810 version of this, they have switched uh, from XFCE desktop environment to a modified version of GNOME Shell. And in the brief time I've been playing with this, this is what GNOME Shell should be. I think it rocks. And I'm telling you this as a Windows user. Those of you who follow this channel probably know that I'm not a big fan of GNOME Shell, at least not for beginners, but this modified version I believe is much, much easier. So I am running this off a live USB stick, and I do this just to show newbies that you don't have to fully install Linux just to try it. You can safely run this off a live USB stick to try it out and see if you like it. All right, so I saw that Voco screen, screen recorder, is installed by default. So let's use it and hopefully it won't crash. So let's get moving. I noticed here at the top panel with these drop down menus, these are separated. And this is how it uh, should be with the, with the standard GNOME shell environment. No matter what you click at the top, it goes down. It drops down to the same drop down menu, which never did quite make sense. So for example, here about my computer or power off system settings is separated. The calendar is separated. Uh, networking, volume, and so on. So this is how it should be. If we scroll along, move along all the way to the left, here we have Roco, uh, uh, Voco screen running. It is installed by default. By the way, right-clicking on the panel as it stands does not do anything. Looks like we have a con key here with the time and date. Uh, it's out of the way. It's unobtrusive, and it's very nice. We have a, a dock here at the bottom. Again, a simple dock, self-explanatory. We have Voyager GNOME Shell logo here. If you right click the usual, you can um, change backgrounds if you so choose to. Uh, and the settings here to the left, again, this is pretty much standard in GNOME Shell. Let's, um, let's take a quick look at the wallpaper, just real quick. Okay, a nice selection of colorful wallpapers. I think I'll just keep it the way it is for now. Let's go cancel and then get out of that. All right, so what I've noticed here, if we click to the far left, this is the standard search function in the GNOME Shell desktop environment. Of course, Voco screen is running and a couple of workspaces here. But what they have done here, and this is the part that rocks. If you click this icon here, you have categorized applications, default applications. Now this is much, much easier I believe especially for beginners instead of just typing to search something now the question is the the problem with this is if, if, if you are a newbie do you know exactly what you're searching for so for example accessories games graphics and so on if I was searching for a particular piece of software say for video I could just click this sound and video and everything that is installed by default as a newbie, I can browse through this and then see what I wanted to try out. For example, if I wanted to play music, just go to Rhythm Box. I can probably guess that Cheese is a webcam app. Of course, I am running Voco Screen. If I wanted to play the videos in my system, of course, I would just click Videos. But this is how GNOME Shell should be, uh, at least for beginners. If I hit the Escape button, That'll get me out of it, and of course you can you can always search. So if I type in, let's say I want to uh, search for files. All right, and this will bring up the file manager. And I will say this: as far as the default default colors and fonts, this is polished, or at least it's polished enough. I don't see anything wrong with this. So, again, this is um, this is pretty much uh, self-explanatory as you see here, search and so on. And it looks like we can increase the size of the folders there. All right, so, so far so good. All right, this simple dock at the bottom, show applications, Voco screen, trash, box, Voyager. I'm not sure what that is. Let's go ahead and click that. It looks like some extra settings here. Night mode, NetSpeed, Conkey, Reparation System, Infos. Uh, Conkey, I am somewhat familiar with. That would be this here to the left. Click OK, and I'm assuming we can change that. Conkey Control, Menu, Exit, Conkey Lists, Base. Uh, I don't know, let's see if that works. OK. I guess I need to delete the other one because what it did here, it pasted one conky on top of another. 
Uh, let's see, where are we here? Let's unclick that. Okay. All right, very good. Where were we? Um, tweaks. The GNOME Tweak tool is installed by default. It should be installed by default in all GNOME Shell desktop environments to customize it the way you want to. Uh, again, this is self-explanatory general appearance desktop. We can show the trash icon, extensions, fonts, and so forth. Uh, it looks like yeah, quite a few extensions that you can turn on or off. Uh, easy screencast. This extension simplifies the use of the video recording of functioning integrated GNOME shell. Quickly allows quickly to change the various settings of the desktop recording. Okay, that's just an example. Very good. And I notice this is running somewhat smoothly off a USB environment, so very good. The, uh, the Ubuntu Software Center. A very nice software center for beginners, and I don't mind using this myself, although I still prefer the Synaptic Package Manager. Some editors picks, and yeah, very nice. All right, moving along, we have the calendar. All right, we have, looks like a text editor, file manager, and of course, Firefox is installed by default. Well, what else can I say? Voyager Linux, uh, the transition from XFCE to GNOME Shell, it rocks. I love it. So if you thought about trying something in Linux with GNOME Shell, the latest version, 18.10, is very, very nice. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. So far, just by quick test, mind you, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Check it out. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. We're reaching almost the end of the year. I do want to thank you for over eight years of this Total OS Technology channel. It's been my pleasure sharing my experiences with you, and I hope I've helped at least some of you transition uh, to the world of Linux. That's all I have for this one. Just remember that the best OS, the best operating system is yourself. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.